You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Concerning the issues of life, liberty, and justice, and their impact on individuals, culture, society in America, and around the world, this is The Truth Spoken in Love with your host, Myra Jean. Myra will discuss heartfelt topics facing our nation and our world today, as only Myra can. So please welcome the host of The Truth Spoken in Love, Myra Jean. You're listening to The Truth, Spoken in Love for You. I'm your host, Myra Jean, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Uh, I believe probably we all want justice. But before we can receive justice, we need to receive mercy for... um, We are fallen creatures from birth. And as King David said, in sin did my mother conceive me, meaning he was uh, in conception um, by a fallen mother and a fallen father and came forth in sin. Uh, not having the glory of God as mankind had originally been created, being fallen creatures, uh, spiritually dead, separated from the living God who loves us. Therefore, the Lord God, creator of heaven and earth and mankind, says... Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and want us to know him. You were in my care before you were born, but so sadly, all go astray from birth, turning each one his, her own way. There is only a right way, God's way, that is perfect, righteous, and holy. And we are not. But Jesus, the Lord God, who became flesh and given the name Jesus, meaning Savior of the world, the only true living Savior, Lord God, Creator, in going my own way, I listen to lies we all do when we're not listening to the living God, His Word, the Holy Scripture, the Bible, where we're not born listening but must down the road, hopefully, choose to listen to Jesus and let him save us. For as Jesus says, you do not choose me, but I choose you. And if you haven't listened to him calling you, then you can, right now, this moment, say, Yes, 
Lord Jesus, yes, I recognize going my own way, trying to make myself God, me, a creature, trying to be my own creator. I recognize that lie and I want you, Jesus, as the only true living God, Lord God and Savior, as my own. Jesus, forgive me for going my way and save me, Jesus. Take control. Come and give me your resurrection life right now. Take control of my heart, mind, will, that I might be forgiven and set free from sin, death, hell, and the grave and live fully now by your Holy Spirit, now and forever, Jesus. I ask for your salvation. I thank you for loving me, drawing me, calling me, choosing me. Thank you, Jesus. I surrender. I surrender to you, Jesus. Take control. Live in me by your Holy Spirit and show me the way, the life, as you are the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus. I want your will to be my will and I turn from going my own way. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me and saving me. Amen. For 20 years, I have been a volunteer with the Justice Foundation. Their goal is to work to restore the protection of life to the unborn and to bring healing to women and men like myself who listened to lies and chose the devastating, tragic, poor choice of abortion. I will share with you of their efforts, the Justice Foundation. They pray, litigate, educate, and advocate for life, liberty, and justice. The Justice Foundation was founded in 1993 and seeks to protect the fundamental freedoms and rights essential to the preservation of American society by providing free legal services to promote those rights. The vision is to restore proper respect for God's word and law to American jurisprudence and thus restore Righteousness, justice, mercy, and a proper respect for God to the nation. And their mission to pray, litigate, educate, and advocate for life, liberty, and justice. And you can be a part in the restoring of justice. They have several projects and I have been a part for 19 years now. The one project is called Operation Outcry. It's a ministry of the Justice Foundation to end the pain of abortion by exposing the truth about its devastating impact 
on women, men, and families. We seek to achieve justice through the power of prayer and presenting legally admissible testimonies of women who have suffered harm due to abortion. We will be taking a short break. Stay tuned. Be right back. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. You are listening to The Truth, Spoken in Love, for you. I'm your host, Myra Jean, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. The Justice Foundation strives to restore righteousness, justice, mercy, and a proper respect for God to the nation. I was sharing with you a project they have called Operation Outcry. You can find the information at the website operationoutcry.org operationoutcry.org We seek to achieve justice through the power of prayer and presenting legally admissible testimonies of women who have suffered harm due to abortion. These testimonies are presented to courts and legislatures considering banning or restricting abortion. You can find the Declaration of Testimony at Operation Outcry.org. If you listen to lies of the abortion industry or thought that the wrong ruling of the U.S. Supreme Court made abortion legal, it did not. There was never any legislation, but a ruling. The Justice Foundation, through its project Operation Outcry, giving women who have been lied to, deceived, the opportunity to present their testimonies of harm by abortion through a declaration of testimony, how my abortion hurt me. 
written testimony answering nine questions of what took place for you, the deception. If you are a woman who has been hurt by abortion and wounded, would like to confidentially provide a testimony, please visit www.operationoutcry.org to fill out a declaration form. OperationOutcry.org About 62% of women, like myself, who have made the devastating, tragic, poor choice, are pressured, forced, or coerced into an unwanted abortion. To come to the aid of those presently or will be under such pressure and coercion. There is now the center for, the center against forced abortions. It's called CAFA, Center Against Forced Abortion. This service provided freely by the Justice Foundation and those working alongside to assist women and help men. The Center Against Forced Abortion provides free legal resources and training for families, lawyers, police, school counselors, and pregnancy centers to help mothers who are being unduly pressured, forced, or coerced into an unwanted abortion. We continue to estimate that the center's training, assistance, and legal tools have helped at least 1,000, 2,000 mothers and babies yearly. There is a dear client letter that is extremely useful as a tool to support the mom's declaration to the mom's decision to keep her child or place for adoption and makes her parents or anyone else doubt of the child, husband or friend or other who is forcing, pressuring her to abort against her will. Pushing for something that's illegal. It is illegal to pressure a person to have an abortion against their will. And there is legal provision you may get in touch with CAFA, the Center Against Forced Abortion, through the Justice Foundation.org. The Justice Foundation. The Dear Client Letter is extremely useful as a tool to support the mom's decision to keep her child and makes Others know that it is illegal for them to pressure her to do otherwise. Quoting the Dear Client letter empowered our client by giving her support that the law in Arkansas was on her side and by letting her letting the person know what penalties they could incur if they continued to coerce the woman who does not want an abortion. We are so thankful that the Justice Foundation has created a document that can give pregnancy centers a way to empower 
those who want to choose life. And they can present this to dear client letter to anyone pressuring her so that they will know that is illegal to pressure one who wants to parent or place for adoption. The CAFA Center Against Abortion, C-A-F-A, Org, or find it under the information of the Justice Foundation.org. We will be taking a short break. Stay tuned. Be right back. My Dreams, My Challenges, and Joys is an inspiring book by author Linda Genazzo. This real-life account of raising a child with autism from birth to adulthood takes you on a journey of compassion, love, and hope as it tells the incredible story of a devoted family and their beloved daughter. Together, they faced adversity and never stopped believing they would find the help they were seeking. A breast cancer survivor, Linda Genazzo has a giving heart. With a background in social work with the mentally ill and the homeless, Linda continues to help families in her community. And her book, My Dreams, My Challenges and Joys, brings greater awareness to autism and those families in need. To purchase your copy, visit www.lindagenazzo.com. It's also available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Don't delay. Get your copy today. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various business interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. You are listening to The Truth Spoken in Love, in love for you, desiring justice and mercy for you. The Justice Foundation, for which I have been a volunteer now, 19 years, has a new project to which, with which every American can participate. It's called the Moral Outcry. It's a ministry of the Justice Foundation providing free legal representation and at the assistance of Melinda Tebalt as its co-founder, along with all those who sign a nationwide petition asking the Supreme Court to reverse its abortion cases. This petition serves as a symbol of America's moral outcry against abortion and provides a framework for a legal multi-year strategy to reverse Roe v. Wade. The five pillars of the moral outcry Abortion is a crime against humanity. Life begins at conception. Abortion hurts women, men and families. Safe haven laws are a better alternative. They are available in every state. And five, adoption instead. Sign the petition, spread the word, and abortion. TheMoralOutcry.com 
www.themoraloutcry.com. This petition has been filed with the Supreme Court beginning when there were about 78,000 signers. And now, today, the petition has more than 250,000 Americans have gone online, read the moral outcry and the pillars and the evidence, and signed a petition by the American by American citizens to the U.S. Supreme Court to end the taking of life as abortion is a crime against humanity. Today, you may have known of it beforehand, but I want to share with you the press release of an event that took place today, October the 1st, at the U.S. Supreme Court. This is the press release. With over 250,000 signatures, pro-life leaders rallied at the U.S. Supreme Court and women who have been hurt by abortion to call on SCOTUS, the Supreme Court of the United States, to overturn Roe v. Wade. With a quarter of a million signatures collected on a petition calling for the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade, pro-life leaders held a rally outside the Supreme Court and called on the Supreme Court of the United States to use the Louisiana and Indiana cases currently before the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade and Doe v. Walton. Today, Tuesday, October 1st, 2019. At the steps of the Supreme Court of the United States, pro-life leaders and women hurt by abortion held a rally and called for the overturn of Roe v. Wade. Aptly known, the petition, the moral outcry, a petition that stands on the premise that U.S. citizens do not accept abortion as the law of the land, especially now that every state has passed safe haven laws. The unwanted child argument of the pro-abortion lobby is no longer valid. Advocates of the moral outcry say the petition represents many who wish to see the innocent lives of children in the womb protected under the Constitution. Pro-life leaders across the nation have added their voices to the growing movement calling on the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. Quoting Alan Parker, president of the Justice Foundation, We are honored that 250,000 people have joined us in calling on the Supreme Court to overturn Roe. The Justice Foundation, a pro-life nonprofit, is leading the charge. Quoting um, Students for Life of America President Christine Hawkins. Every child born or preborn has the inalienable right to life given by God. Students for Life of America stand with the hundreds of thousands of signers who call on the Supreme Court to do the right thing and protect the lives of the preborn. The pro-life generation will not rest until abortion 
is abolished and made unthinkable. Another quote by Thomas Glessner, president of the National Institute of Family and Life Advocates, says, In Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court said, We need not restore the difficult question of when life begins. However, that question is no longer difficult. Science proves beyond a reasonable doubt that the human life begins in the womb and abortion kills the life of a human infant. Quoting, the work of pro-life pregnancy resource centers utilizing ultrasounds shows a mother considering abortion a human baby is very impactful because it shows to this mother the truth of a human life within her since science now provides indisputable evidence of the humanity of the unborn, the Supreme Court must now rethink and reverse its ruling in Roe v. Wade. Quoting Wildman, Vice President of Operations, American Family Association. Stay tuned to be right back. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth, published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and to Tune in radio. You are listening to The Truth Spoken in Love. I'm your host, Myra Jean, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Please go to the websites, thejusticefoundation.org, and participate with as one who has been harmed by abortion, with the OperationOutcry.org, filling out a declaration of testimony that can assist in states when they're working on protecting life in the womb, pro-life legislation, and in defense of states' laws that seek to protect life. Now, as a volunteer with the Justice Foundation 19 years, I encourage every woman who has been wounded and the dads and the families, 
There is a 24-7 international helpline where you can talk with someone and receive counsel and uh, support for healing. It is the international helpline, helpline.org. The international helpline.org. The phone number, 1-866-482-5433. There have been more than 32 million women in the United States wounded by the lies of abortion. Two main lies. It's not life. When clearly it is. And taking that life wounds you with guilt, grief, anger, and shame. Receive healing. Call 1-866-482-5433. Be forgiven and set free. Receive Christ's mercy on your behalf. And he will justify you before the Father. In Matthew chapter 16, Jesus says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. What will it profit a person if he should gain the whole world but lose his own soul? And what shall a man, person, give in exchange for his soul? There is none except to receive the mercy and grace of the living God who loves you and provided for your mercy and salvation through Jesus the Christ. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every person according to his works. Be forgiven for aborting your unborn child. And for all who have not aborted, be forgiven for going your own way instead of listening to the living God. Ask him, Jesus, forgive me and save me. I ask for your will for me, for your kingdom, your presence in me for now and eternity. Jesus does not want any to be lost. But we must listen to Jesus and let him provide his mercy that we would be justified before the Father, that we would now have the righteous Holy Spirit of the living God providing our forgiveness providing new life that is for all eternity, beginning the moment we receive Jesus as our very own Lord God and Savior. 
We will be taking a short break. Stay tuned. Be right back. WikiWags brings harmony back into your home for male dogs and their owners. Inventor and entrepreneur Linda Jangula has created the disposable doggy diaper wraps made with the male dog in mind. The built-in wicking ability prevents rashing and other potential health issues for your dog. Each wrap comes in four sizes and has dual reattachable magic tabs for easy adjustments. And each size has a 7-inch logo strip for adjustability. So they are comfortable and easy to use. No more fuss, just leave the mess to us. Whether you're in or out, your dog will be free to run about. Stop cleaning and start enjoying your home, and you can even leave your dog alone. To order your WikiWags, visit WikiWags.com, or to find out where to buy WikiWags in your town, visit MyWikiWags.com and start enjoying having man's best friend around. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. You are listening to the truth spoken in love, the love of the only Lord God Almighty through Jesus the Christ. Psalm 51 for me, for you. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight that you might be justified when you speak and be clear when you judge. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part, you shall make me to know wisdom. Cleanse me. Make and I will be clean. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the honey which you have, which the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, 
and my mouth shall show, show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. You delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. Jesus says, Come unto me, all who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest, my peace, my life. Take my way upon you and learn from me and you will find rest for your souls. The testimony of my iniquity, my sin, and then the Lord's mercy forgiveness and healing is found on a YouTube channel my o o my the number 1 my o o my the number 1 Myra's story the video abortion hurts everyone and a video from deception to healing Please find what God did for me and that he desires to do for every person with breath to grant them mercy, to grant them forgiveness, and to provide for them justification before the Father and to cleanse them from all unrighteousness and to deliver them from evil and to heal their hearts and minds. That YouTube channel, my, oh, oh, my, the number one, my, oh, oh, my, the number one. My email is sometimes full, but still, I will give it to you if you would like to be in touch with me and talk with me. My email address is Myra Jean, M-Y-R-A-J-E-A-N, at Outdoors, O U T drs.net Myra Jean at O-U-T-D-R-S dot net Please persevere if you would like us to talk together because we are loved. This radio show the truth spoken in love, in love for you, because the living God loves you and wants you to know him as he knows you, even before he formed you in the womb, for the very purpose, life's purpose, to know him personally in spirit and in truth and to have the abundant life only he can give that begins with the moment you receive from Jesus the Christ the forgiveness of God and the new life that Jesus gives. Around the world, every year, 40, 50 million abortions, wounding women, men, 
families. You can take a part in bringing the healing they need. You can here in the United States sign the petition to the U.S. Supreme Court to end the crime against humanity, themoraloutcry.org. We were taking a short break. Stay tuned. Be right back. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History and the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Les Colday Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Essential Nutrients, LLC, is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Reading with Psalm 32, Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the one unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and whose spirit there is no guile. Without Jesus, when I kept silent, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. All day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the droughts of summer. But I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this shall everyone that is willing pray unto thee in a time when you may be found. You are my hiding place. Preserve me from trouble. You shall come past me about with songs of deliverance. And you will instruct me and teach me in the way which I shall go. You will guide me with your eye upon me. The Lord says, Do not be as the horse or the mule which have no understanding whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusts in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. 
all you who hope in Jesus the Christ. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you that are upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Sing unto him a new song, and play skillfully with a loud noise, for the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loves righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Receive Jesus the Christ, and with him be justified and free with mercy for now and forever. This has been The Truth Spoken in Love with your host, Myra Jean. The Truth versus the Deception. Tune in each week for the answers on Myra Jean's The Truth Spoken in Love. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.